Hey guys, Good to Great Cigars here. I just wanted to bring you just another quick video. I already know that I showed you guys how to season one humidor before, but recently I smoked a cigar that I really liked. It was the, um, the Robert Caldwell, the Eastern Standard. And I like that cigar so much that I wanted to get a humidor specifically for those cigars. So at my local club humidor, they had a nice small humidor. It's just a 20 count. So I just picked this up and I wanted to show you guys how, to, how I'm going to season it from start to finish. And this is a good idea. I mean, if you've got a cigar that's maybe, you know, you want to keep by itself because you really like it. Uh, you don't want to mix it with any other cigars that you have. It's a good idea to just get a small 20 count humidor like this and that way you can just keep those in there and when you have those really special days where you just want to you know you want to smoke your you know one of your favorite cigars you'll have it so in this video all I'm going to do is show you how to season it from start to finish as far as some of the materials that you'll see I've got this 20 count humidor very nice small it comes with this uh, little sponge on the inside I'm not really a big fan of using these I like to use uh, like the Zycar humidity crystals or Boveda packs, things like that. But in the wood humidors, I'm going to use the Zycar crystals. So that, some distilled water. I'm going to use this at first. This is my, Z my Zycar digital hygrometer. That way I can tell what the humidity level is. Um, and I'm doing all of this before I actually buy the cigars. Because whenever you season it, you need to let it sit for a day or two days. Um, and that way it kind of acclimates and that way, you know, it stays at the level it's supposed to. In addition, with the distilled water, you've seen a little Tupperware. I have my sponge in there I'm going to wipe it down with. I'm not going to use this yet. This is the Zycar. This is Popoline Glycol. So when these crystals dry up, you can actually fill it up with this solution right here to kind of recharge the crystals. And then I simply just have a little rag that I'm going to use to... Um, you know keep my hands dry but let's go ahead and get this started from start to finish so you have the humidor here get your sponge with the water distilled water bring that out you want to try to make it so that you don't have you know drops of water that stay in the humidor you want to just wipe it down and as you wipe it, you'll see that it's going to change colors on the inside. It's going through here. So, as you guys know, I've been trying a lot of different cigars recently. And I have over 100, probably 100 cigars now. But when you find something that you like... You want to make sure that you can buy it while it's around because that cigar might not be around forever. So that's why I decided to buy this little 20 count humidor. Just go in all the little crevices. And again, the whole reason why you need to season this is so that it traps in some of that humidity and doesn't dry out all your cigars when you finally put them in there. These little sponges that I got are pretty good. They're not as big as your normal dish sponges, although I guess this probably is a dish sponge that I'm using. Nice to have a towel there so you could wring out the extra excess water that you have. Also, the wood on your humidor is going to expand a little bit once you get it wet. So that's good to get you that ni nice, tight seal. You guys know I'm a big fan of 
using Tupper Doors to keep my cigars in, but sometimes you just need to use a good old wooden humidor. Make sure you get all those spaces. Now it's time to get the top. This is a nice little cherry wood. It's got cedar on the inside, but the outside of it is cherry. So it'll look nice when it's sitting on top of the desk. You might notice a little excess water, distilled water that uh, kind of runs down the humidor, but you can just wipe that off with the sponge. You can see how it's changing colors nicely. And again, you just bring out the sponge. You want to get it wet, but you don't want to have too much excess water that's just sitting and again we're using distilled water not tap water the, the distilled water is just cleaner and also it's going to prevent possible things like mold that might that you might get if you use regular tap water So whenever you're buying a humidor also, you want to open and close the lid to see, make sure it has a good seal. So I've been, I try to stay on top of all of the posts that I put out for new cigars that are coming out luckily I live in a city where there's not a shortage of brick and mortar stores and they're always trying to get the latest and greatest cigars that come out and they have cool toys like humidors and cutters and lighters that I can go in there and pick up so if you don't want to wait for the shipping or, you know, if you don't want to run the risk of something going wrong with your shipping, it's nice to just go into a local brick and mortar store and pick up what you need. So I'm going to try to get in here inside of this crack. This is going to be a little, a little tough, but we'll get it. I had a little water that was sitting there. I don't know if you can see the color of this water, but it's starting to turn a little brown. So again, you want to use a sponge whenever you're wiping this down. You don't want to use a paper towel or nothing like that. So you can see it changes colors quite nicely. You see all that wood is nice and wet. It's probably a joke there, but I'm going to keep it clean. This is looking nice. Again, this is just a little, a smaller humidor. It's only a 20 count. But I already know what cigars I'm going to put in here. And these are going to be my special occasion cigars. Let's give it one more rundown. Sometimes the corners are a little bit tough to get, but... You can do anything you put your mind to.
All right, so on a side note, if you like the blog, Good to Great Cigars, you like the cigar reviews, you like the different equipment reviews that I've been doing, make sure that you uh, follow the blog. There's a link that you can just put your email address in, and any time that I go and make a new post or you know put some new videos up, you guys can see them. And if you're local, also join the email list so that you can be kept up to date with different events going on here locally. All right, well, that's going to do it for the wipe down. So you can see it changed colors nicely. I got all the different crevices in there. You can see that. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, I'm a big fan of these Zycar Humidity Crystals. They have two different sizes. This is the, the smaller one. This is the two ounce. And they have a four ounce as well. In my other humidor, that's like a 50 count humidor, I use a two ounce and a four ounce. And it keeps it regulated at about 67% humidity. So I'm just going to use a 2 ounce for this small humidor. It comes with this little grate on here, which is cool if you have cigars, you know, to keep them off of the crystals and everything. But it also blocks some of the humidity. So I like to actually just take this grate off. And I'll leave that off. I'm going to place that in there. And then I'm going to take my digital hygrometer. This is the wireless one, so I have another unit that can sit on top of the desk. And that way I don't have to keep opening up my humidor to see what levels that it's at. And this is handy because you can move this unit from humidor to humidor or tupper door to tupper door and you know you can just monitor it so i've been getting a lot of use out of this zycar digital hygrometer but i'm just gonna sit this in here next to the crystals and there you have it let's close this down you can see there's gonna still be enough room so i'm done seasoning this wiping it down so what I'm going to do next, actually I see a little spot that could use a little bit of a touch-up. Make sure I get a nice, good seal on there. All right, so this is my 20 count humidor. I'm gonna fill this up with some of my, I already told you, I'm gonna fill it up with the Robert Caldwell Eastern Standard Cigars. I'm gonna keep them separate by themselves, but I just wanted a small humidor. Don't need to get a big 50 count. But that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Sometimes I also put something on top of it just so that it kind of keeps it sealed a little bit more like an ashtray or something but there you go that's the seasoned humidor i'm going to let it stay like that for the next couple of days and then once the humidity level evens out and balances out i'll go and get some some of those cigars to put in there so hope you enjoyed the hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or any comments or if there's anything you want me to, to do a review on, just let me know. Visit the blog, goodtograatcigars.com. Again, thanks for tuning in. And we'll talk to you soon.